Welcome. In today's teaching, you are going to learn how to use Microsoft Designer. Microsoft Designer is an AI tool which you can use to design different graphics. It is developed by Microsoft. But the beauty of this software when compared with others is that you can type what you want it to create and then prompt it and that is created for you. Once the design is generated, you can edit it further to suit into what you want really, okay? So let's get started. First is to open your web browser on your computer. As your browser opens, visit designer.microsoft.com. I have the link in the description. So check the description section to see the link and click on it. As the website opens, this is the interface you will see, okay? So if you don't have an existing Microsoft account, maybe you don't use Microsoft Word or Outlook, any other services, you may need to sign up. But if you have been using any of these products, automatically you have already created an account with Microsoft. So if you don't have any account with Microsoft already, just click on Get Started. Then click on the button, to sign up or sign in with Microsoft with a Microsoft account. You'll be taken to a new page on that new page. Then sign in or sign up, depending. If you have an account with them already, you sign in. If you don't have an account with them already, you sign up. So I will sign in because I already have an account with the platform. So on this new page, enter the email address you registered with Microsoft and then hit next if you already have an account with them. If we don't, just click on create one and follow the on-screen guide. All right, I am signed in and this is the first page I'm taking to. Here it says, describe the design you do like to create. So as you type what you need, describe what you need, then this generates what will be made active. You can click on it. You click on it for it to generate a design for you. So let me type what I want. In this case, I want to inform this platform to create a design based on my YouTube channel, which is Codemy Tech. So look at what I will tell it to create. I will say, create a, an Instagram post for Godwin Tech School using images of people learning how to use software to portray the viewpoint, okay? Or to portray the design, all right? So I will type it here. I am done typing and this is what I have. Create an Instagram post for Godwin Tech School using images of people learning how to use software to portray the design. After you are done typing or describing what you want, click on generate. So hold on a little for the result to be generated for us. As you can see, these are the results return okay there's so much of them so if you don't like the preview as it appear here still click on generate for more images to be returned more designs okay you can see new designs have come up again okay for you to see each and every one of them just click on this zoom icon And this is made bigger, all right? So still zoom out by clicking on this. Okay, the beauty of this platform is that it suggests some descriptions for us. Look at what we typed here and look at what it returned. It said that we should use. Say click to try this suggestion. Create an Instagram post for Godwin Tech School. Showing people learning software. Use professional colors like blue, green, or orange. You can see this makes a better sense. So we can click on it if we want this since it's a better choice. And after that, click on generate. Okay, with the suggestion given to us, these are the designs returned. Okay. And I want to make something clear here. In most cases, no matter how beautiful a design is returned to you, how beautiful the design return to you is 
you still need to touch that design okay don't just pull it like that and then go and post okay so for us to do that click on any design you want to use let me scroll down okay i think this is cool let's use this once you click on that it will be selected then you can download if you don't want to do additional design on it or you can go with the option customize design so i want to customize the design so i'll click on this spot this is what is written for us as we click on the design so we can decide okay this is not okay you can introduce your own text or you can make the text bigger any how you want to do it is okay just customize it the way you want it you look at this section you can see ideas still some suggestions made to us okay so you can pick any of them here if you don't like what is assigned here by default so for example i can click on this and it will replace the initial design we selected so let's work on the test first the first thing is join our community of learners today so if i don't like this i'll click on this and the test box will be selected now after the first click you can see some options show up at the top here maybe i want to format the test further i want to make it bold and the rest okay you can see i've clicked on the bold button it has changed you want to increase this text size go with this you want to change the front let's say let's go with the front let's see if we can change the new front so i'll click on this spot once i click on the front you can see some fonts suggested to us here so these are some fonts we can work with you can come to phone and still see some fonts group you can choose from there for example if i want to use this i'll click on this that's bangers you can see it has changed but let me undo it i think the first one we we have here is better off then let's talk about changing the text inside so for you to change the text in the text box in the design just click twice okay twice then you can click further and then make the changes you want after changing the text i may like to align it differently so I'll click on this it's not aligned to the center all right there are some tabs here okay the first is templates if you want to access a new template or work with a new template just click on the template section okay if you want to access you can see there are so many templates suggested for us okay you can choose any of them if the need arises okay this is how we have our design here and this is the name of the company godwin tech school all right if you want to add an additional text to your design that must be inside a text box okay and for you to add a text box in the design come to this text tab and click on it on clicking on the text tab you will be asked what kind of text do you want to create is it a heading is it a subheading or is it a body okay so if we say heading maybe just like this this is a heading then click on add a heading you can see the text box is now added into the design so you can type whatever you want to type okay after typing what you want and you want to drag this to a new part of your design just bring your cursor to the text box until you see the cross design just position it very well until that shape changes you can then drag to anywhere you want to place it all right once you are good release the project okay and click out that's it then let's talk about introducing shapes if you want to introduce shapes in your design you can do that through visuals look at the visuals tab here so when you click on visuals you will see some other sub tabs we have shapes we have illustrations we have icons whichever one you want to go for so in this case let's just go with shape once you click on this shape it will be introduced into your design and once that is done 
Just position your cursor until you see this cross sign and then drag the shape to any part of the design where you want to have it. All right. So let me just delete it. We don't need it for now. You can import a photo into your design or an image. And for you to do that, click on my media. Once you click on my media, by default, you will not have any image showing here. These images are here because I imported them by myself, okay, to create my design. So once you are here, then choose how you want to import your image. You can be from your this device or from phone or from Google Drive, anywhere. So, but here, let's assume I want to import it from this device. This automatically opens the file explorer of your PC. So just get to where the picture you want to use is. So let's say, okay, I have a lot of designs here. So pictures here. Once the image is imported, you will have it here. So you can then drag it to the design. As you do that, the shape is now placed in your design. You can decide to drag it down to anywhere you want to have it. You can resize it by positioning your cursor like this and then drag in. So anyhow you want to use it, just use it to create your design, okay? So in this case, we don't need to delete it. After creating your design, the next thing you are likely to do is to save your design. And for you to save your design, click on download. Then click on download button again. And this is the next page you will see. So with this, the design is now downloaded into your PC. Okay, let's talk about resizing. Any design that Microsoft suggests for you comes with a particular unique size. Okay, but you can choose a different size for yourself. For you to do that, look at the part with the name given to the design. Click on the drop down and select resize. On the next page, you can choose a new size for your design. Okay, by default, this is chosen and everything is in pixels. Okay, if you want to, if you don't need any from this list, then you can go with the option, create a custom size. As this next page opens, insert the value in pixels, all right? If you have your value in CM or in H's, Use Google to find the conversion in Pixel. At the moment, designer accepts Unix in Pixels alone. If you want to leave the design you are working on at the port at the moment, and then go for a new design, just click on this new design button. This opens a new page suggesting some designs for you. So you can start from there. Or as you join, you can just type a prompt, okay, describing what you want, and then click on generate. If you want to see some designs you created in the past, okay, as you visit designer.microsoft.com, what you need to do is come down to this section and click on recent designs. And this shows the recent designs you created. It's as simple as that. So with this, I believe you have learned how to use Microsoft Designer. Thank you, I hope you learned something great. Please do want to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and then hit the like button if this video is helpful to you.